So I have tried filming this video at least three times and I cannot seem to get it right. I am so rusty with my unboxing etiquette, so sorry. Hello, welcome to this new video. This is very exciting because as I said, I haven't done an unboxing video in a while, but this box set, I have never seen anything quite like it. I've never heard of anything quite like it. This is the largest box set ever made, ever. It's absolutely huge, but it is very exciting. Now the reason it's so big is because this box set is actually split into four individual box sets. What is the box set? What's the music? Well, I'm gonna tell you that now. So this box set is called Amour de Francis. Um, I don't know how to pronounce anything. And it is by Omar Rodriguez Lopez, who if you are not aware, then click off this video very quickly, go listen to the Mars Volta, then come back because then you'll get a gist of his guitar playing, his style. So he's the guitarist of the Mars Volta, also of At The Drive-In, but also has done solo work. Now this box set, box sets, are compiled of all of his solo work from 2004 up until present day, so 2023. There are 57 LPs in this box set. See, this is gonna be a long video, but you know what? Hang tight because you might learn something. As I said, 57 LPs, that is huge. And the wonderful thing about this box set is that, you know, I'm a little bit of a collector myself, and I know a lot of you guys are out there, vinyl collectors. I don't know why that felt not very organic to say, but fellow collectors, this is something that you should have in your collection, because there are only 500 of these floating around in the whole entire world. And each one of these have just, just amazing artwork on the covers, the actual way that the box sets are laid out, it's just stunning. So we're gonna get into that now. Let's start with box set number one. And as you can see, my room is now a cardboard kingdom. My room is just full of cardboard. And you know, I, I like cardboard. Uh, it actually is pretty useful for something I'm gonna mention at the end of this video. So stick around for that if you wanna hear about cardboard. So box set number one, sorry, tangent. Here we are. It's got this kind of minimalist feeling to it, which are all of them, but they all look slightly different. And that's the back of the first one. And I love the abstract art on the front of this. So this is actually just a slip cover or a slip case, whatever you want to call it. They actually come apart like this and each uh, one of these box sets have, has a different design on the inside. Take a look at that. And I've noticed that they all have a color scheme. So this one's kind of ready orange. So I'm just gonna put that there so it doesn't get obliterated by the weight of this box set. So we're going to be starting from his works from 2004, I guess. Uh, I was two years old in 2004, so fun. So they come out very easily. These boxes are very high quality. They're, you know, solid. You don't want something that's going to, you know, disintegrate over time or, you know, if it gets knocked or something falls on it. Let's start. So this is our first record, very shiny. And this one is a manual dexterity. Soundtrack volume one with a very nice glistening artwork there. Now I know everyone says like, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. And I sometimes do that with music. Sometimes I'll find an album with really cool artwork and I'll listen to it just because the artwork looks cool. So, and, and I've enjoyed albums because of that. You know, I've got into bands because of that. Okay, here's the next one. This one is, oh, I, think, I believe, Omar Rodriguez. Is that the name of the album? Is that just, it's just a self-titled? So one thing to know about this box set, or actually I continue, is that the vinyl itself, the actual discs, are made from recycled materials. As um, an advocate for kind of environmental stuff, that, that means a lot to me because there's already so much plastic and stuff in the world. Might as well reuse the stuff that gets thrown away and turn it into something great. Vinyl. So this album here, this is, please heat this eventually. And this is, oh, this is a collaboration between Omar Rodriguez Lopez and Damo or Demo Suzuki. That name is very familiar to me. I'll chuck it up on the screen if I'm aware of who that is because the name is very, very, very familiar. Here we go, this is the next one. This is Sedise Lisonte. No buffalo. This one is, oh, this is another collaboration. This is Omar Rodriguez Lopez and Lydia 
Lydia Lunch. So here we have the apocalypse inside of an orange, and this is the Omar Rodriguez Lopez Quintet. There's some double LPs in here. That's quite quite chunky. Uh, so this is calibration in brackets. It's pushing luck and key too far. This one is uh another collaboration this is with jeremy michael ward i am unaware of who that is but time to learn this is so i'm like turning to the side it's just they don't always have the name of the album on the front this is minor cuts and scrapes and the bushes ahead so this is absence makes the heart grow fungus this is old money this one is a gatefold and this one is oh my god i cannot read mega mega ritual and the last one of box set number one this is despair okay so this is box set number two so yeah as i said the slip covers all look different so this is the second box now um i am actually pretty familiar with the work that he's done with john frusciante of the red hot chili peppers because i'm a chili peppers fan myself and um i did delve into frusciante's solo stuff at some point um that's how i discovered some of Omar Rodriguez Lopez solo stuff as well. So let's start with the first one of box two, which is very shiny. This is Cryptomnesia, and that is very shiny. You can see me, I'm right there. Whoa. So this is the next one, which is, ooh, fan album cover. This is Xenophanes. If I'm pronouncing any of these wrong, do drop a comment. Um, I will probably read it and not reply to it, but I will definitely consider it. Here's the third one. This is Los Sueños. De un higado. This is Solo Gambling. And this album. Now this, this next one, I'm very familiar with this one because I actually have it already in my collection. And I paid so much for it. So I'm happy it's in this set. And that is the collaboration album of Omar Rodriguez Lopez and John Frusciante. It doesn't actually have a name. But this is an exceptionally good record. I listened to it so much, especially during lockdown, which is when I found it. Really nice kind of instrumental, which is, I'm, I'm sure that's most of this, but this has got just two amazing guitarists on it. And this is really, just, just really, really good. This is another one that has John Frusciante on it. So this is called Sepulcros de, de Miel. So the next one, this is, oh my gosh. Ciencia de los Inutiles. All of my viewers out there who can speak Espanol, then please, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, is the next one. This is, oh my God, I don't even know how to pronounce this one. So please let me know. This is a, this is a gatefold. Next one is Cezania de los Amores. Mantra Hiroshima. This one is You're Welcome. This is actually written in Japanese. Uh, this one is Un Scorpion perf Perfumado. This one is Un Corazon, Corazon de Nadi. When I opened up this box, I just thought this was a really nice photo when I first saw it. This one is Saber Quiere Osa y and here is the last one. I've just seen the picture on the back, and that is brilliant. <laughs> and this one is Octopus Kool Aid. There we go. I can read that one. Octopus Kool Aid. That's such a good name for an album. Okay, so something that fans of this artist may enjoy when it comes to this box set is that there is two albums. In, sorry, there are two albums in here which have never been released, like completely unreleased music, and you get it in this box set. Not only that, I'm terrible at putting things back together. <laughs> Not just that, but as I said, there's 57 LPs in here and 31 of them, which is a massive chunk of them, have actually never been released on vinyl. That is crazy. Big chunk of the vinyl that we've got in here has never been issued. This is box number three and this is the inside. I like the inside of that one. And here is the set again, beautifully put together. So let's start here. We have Unicorn Skeleton Mask. Um, this one is Woman Give Birth to Tomato. That's a fun name. <laughs> Equinox, Solo Extraño, Sworn Virgins, Corazones, 
My hair is bothering me. That's why I wore a hat. Lime worms. Pious, pious swine. Don't know how to say that word. Aranya and La Sombra. I like the album artwork on that one as well. Umbrella Mistress. El Bieni Mal Nos Un. Un. Cell Phone Bikini. Infinity Drips. Weekly Mansions. Zapapan. Nom de Guere Cabal. Some Need It Lonely. Okay, we are on to our fourth and final box in the Omar Rodriguez Lopez Amour de France's box set. There is a lot of music in here and I'm a music enjoyer, so I will definitely love this. Actually, one thing about this box set, this includes some very, very nice artwork. So there are some art prints in here. I like art. Everything in here has been remastered by Clouds Hill Studios. Um, who were the ones who very generously sent me this box set, so I would like to take a moment very quickly to thank them for sending this to me. This is absolutely insane. I mean, when I got the email, I was like, 57 LPs? What? I need to see this. And also, I do like the Mars Volta, and I like his guitar playing, I like his style, so I'm very intrigued to listen to this. So, thank you once again. It has been an honour to unbox this so yeah let's go on with the final box so here we got a love joy roman lips <laughs> that's a fun album cover zen thrills chocolate tumor hormone parade and sanyo de un des this one is azul mis dientes gorilla preacher cartel killing Killing Tingled Lifting Retreats, uh, Solid State Mercenaries, Birth of a Ghost, Doom Patrol, and so from here, I can tell you now, there is a live album here, this is at Cloud Hill Studio, um, I think it's actually just called the Omar Rodriguez Group Live, Live at Cloud Hill, yeah, so we've got a nice and live album there. And the very last one we have here is, is it the clouds? Which is probably a very new one. Now, as I said before, this came with some art prints and they are featured in this particular box, which is right here. So here we go. Oh, I think they must all link together in some sort of way, maybe. Uh, not quite sure, but I'll show them to you anyway. Ah. Yes, they definitely all link together in some way. So, you know, what? at the end of the video, I will piece them all together like an little jigsaw and show it to you because this is all randomized. So I get to, I get to jigsaw. Yay. And that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in getting this box set for yourself, I will put all the links in the description. And yeah, I once again, want to thank Clouds Hill for sending me this. It's been really, really fun doing an unboxing video. And I am so looking forward to delving into the, into his catalog with this set. I mean, I, I can just do one continuous stream of listening. So very excited to do that and, you know, discover some new music because that's what that's what this channel is all about that's what i'm all about as i said i i was going to come back to the whole thing about cardboard we have a discog store and it is coming up to christmas so if you want to get a gift for someone then vinyl is always a good idea so go into the description click our discogs link and you'll find something i guarantee you'll find an album or so or something it supports the channel i also want to say this before the video finishes but they sent me this like sweater like, crew neck and I've been wearing it all day because it's very cold outside so thank you for sending me that it's been it's very comfortable very cozy thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye